What's going on guys? It's your boy James here with Beards and Cars back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to my bathroom. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now guys, with that being said, you guys know that anytime my beard is tied up like this, we're going to be doing some trimming. So, right here in my hand, I have a little tiny hair, which you're probably not going to be able to see. Nope, you can't see it. But this is literally a knot that I just cut out of my beard. So that's why I want to do this trim right now. It's just a small maintenance trim. I know I talked in a past video and said something about cutting my beard off, maybe doing a crazy trim, a couple inches up, something like that. We're not going to be doing that right now. Uh, that'll be for sometime in the future when I get enough cojones, huevos, whatever you want to call it, to actually do that trim. And right now, I just don't have it. So what I do want to do is just trim away some of these flyaways. And I've got underneath here, I've got a lot of, uh, not I don't say a lot, but I've got quite a few knots split in, stuff like that. So when I'm gliding my comb through there, my comb just don't want to make it through my beard right now. It's going through there pretty decent. But as you saw, I had a hair over here to the side. Probably ripped out just from combing it because of a knot, something like that. So that's what we're going to do. And my beard is a little uneven here. So I'm just going to try to straighten this up, show you guys how I go about this. And the first start of it is by picking, is by picking this first little part of my beard up right here and tying it up like this in a little bun. I know it looks goofy as hell, but this helps me see under here and gets this part straight so I got a good start and then as I get this done I'll fold this down and then kind of make ends meet right there so that being said I'm going to go ahead and straight blow dry this try to get see it snagging right there and blow dry this try to get this a little bit straighter so I can get a good idea of what I'm actually cutting and then we're going to go from there so let's get this straight so I like to make sure my hair is straight here and um cut it like that because if it's wet and you cut it you just can't get a good feel for it so you want to cut it dry so you can actually see what you're doing you can actually see exactly how much you're cutting off and i cut mine styled so i'll consider that style so i can actually see how much i'm taking off all right so this is what we're going to go with and uh i'm just trying to come th just kind of come through here and cut just a little bit off this not much at all we're just going to nib a little bit off of it because i don't want to cut anymore than I need to right now so but you guys can't see but my beard is actually uneven this side is actually longer than this side and this side has a few back here in the back that stick way out from under here my neck beard area that stick way out and actually stick further out than the rest of it here so if you're looking at it just right I'll have hair sticking back like this and man it just looks messy so we're going to try to we're going to try to get some of that straightened out right now so let me comb back through this. Now I wish I could show you guys like I could see it, but this side actually hangs down a lot lower. It's touching my collarbone right there. And this is the neck part of my beard. And this side actually goes up quite a bit. It's not anywhere close. It's got a pretty good gap here. So we're gonna just try to straighten that up a little bit and then get some of these flyaways. And the, these rogue hairs are just sticking way out, out completely all the way. So I'm gonna start with those rogue hairs that are sticking out like that one right there. I know you guys can probably see that. We'll start with stuff like that and just trim it off out of the way, all right? So those are the ones I usually go for first because I do not like them hairs. Any kind of strays, scragglers, rogue hairs, make your beard look like crap, just sit in there styled. Those are the ones that tend to fly out or hang down kind of low and kind of loose and you can see straight through them. So that's the ones I try to go for first. So we're gonna trim just those little bitty ones out of the way. And then we're gonna go in with the clippers and take just a tad bit more off. See right here, I don't know if you guys probably can't see that like I can, but there's a couple hairs here that are way longer than the rest. They're sticking out. I'm not gonna stress over them too much, but I am gonna trim those down to this length here. So just something real easy like that, that's all we're doing. All right, let's go through this side, make sure we're good here. Like I said, there's a couple long ones back here in the back. I'm going to trim those off. Let me take a look over here in the mirror. Over here in this mirror. This mirror. So I can see what's going on. Now that I got that done, I'm going to go ahead and take these clippers. After I comb back through this, I'm just trying to straighten it out, guys. Like I said, I'm trying to get... Just to straighten out, just get a nice look at what I'm doing. And then we're going to take a little bit off. 
basically all I'm doing here, like I said, is literally just getting rid of some of these knots and dead ends, stuff like that. That's all I want to do, just so my comb will glide through easier, and that will help my beard grow more length without pulling a bunch of hairs out and look nicer and fuller. So that's what I'm going for right here. So what we're doing, guys, is taking a little bitty bit off. So since this side is longer, in my opinion, I'm going to start over here and work my way that way. And by the way, I'm using the Brios. These right here, anytime you get a trimmer like this, kind of like a little T-handle, these actually cut a lot faster and smoother through the beard. But sometimes this head pops off of here because they're old and have had them for a long time. And I, I just don't like messing with them because of that reason. But other than that, if those are new, I'd be using those right now for what I'm doing because these sometimes you have to push a little bit more. And I feel like I'm just digging into my beard and that's enough to drive me crazy. So here we go. Like I said, all we're doing is trimming a little bit, guys. This ain't gonna be nothing to brag about. Just kinda cut a little bit off. And I love these clippers, guys. Like I said, I feel like I have to just dig into my beard. Instead of just taking a small nick at it, I feel like I actually have to dig into the beard. And that there drives me crazy to not be able to just do this, which I'm about to show you. This here is just like, now it's noisy as hell, but it, it cuts a lot easier. I don't have to hit my beard with it like this. This one, I feel like I have to beat my beard just to get it trimmed. This one, literally, you just touch it and it, tink, my hair fly away. Problem is, I never know when these are going to go dead. The brio's last a lot longer, but that's really all we're going to trim off in just a little tiny bit. Like I said, just enough to get rid of some of those dead ends and clean the beard up. That's all we're doing. Uneven beard, knots, flyaways, uh, split ends, anything like that. That's what we're doing. Like I said, I don't want to take much off. I just want to and you can see that's starting to look a lot straighter. Um, I always trim my beard kind of like that around it. I don't never hit it just straight on like that. I like it to be kind of rounded and that's the way I go about it. So now I'm gonna come around to this side a little bit. Like I said, not taking much off over here because this side is actually a little bit longer. So I want more off here than here. So I'll really be, and you can see right there on my shirt, it's just little bitty pieces, that's all it is. That's how you always wanna trim your beard just a little bit at a time. So uneven beard, we're going at it little bits at a time. Just like that. And now you can see here, if I pull this down a little bit, you can tell this side's a little bit longer than this side now. So we're just going to go in there, start getting that side done. This is the side I really have trouble with. Now I got a lot more knots and flyaways over here, and the combs don't want to go through it. Now I can't stand anymore. I'm tired of pulling my beard hairs out. Boy, these things are loud as hell. I bet you my neighbors can hear these. They might not sound that loud on camera, but they're loud. And I think they're going dead. See, they just went dead. That's what sucks about those. The battery life just sucks. Of course, they wasn't charged and neither were these, but these would last a lot longer. By the way, guys, I hope everybody is doing well right now and staying away from all this drama in the world that we're dealing with because I don't know what's going on. If you guys follow my Instagram story or anything like that, you guys know that I have a lot of guns and I'm constantly building guns. I'm constantly buying guns. And, uh, yeah, if you guys need some protection, just come over here and hang out with old beards and cars, baby. I'll take care of you. I got everybody. I got everybody covered. A little bit at a time, fellas. A little bit at a time is what we're doing here. And I think I pretty much got really close to where I want to be, but this side I have to pull down and kind of nib it at the same time, so that's what we're doing. Some of these hairs are long, boy. I can pull them out maybe. Some of them are just longer than the others, man. I can pull them out there literally like that much longer than the others, and I would never notice it until I grab them and pull them like this, and then I'll see them come out like that. I had to pull them out of there and get them cut. And those long ones like that are usually the ones that have the knots on them. 
and any of you guys are scared to trim your beard, man, this is, just take it nice and easy, take your time, and always, always take just a little bit, small bit at a time, that's all you need to do. Man, the smallest trim on your beard, for anybody that hasn't trimmed their beard, the smallest trim on your beard will make it so much easier for a comb to go through. You just don't feel all the knots, you don't feel all that crap, and uh, makes it glide so much easier, so that's what I do. I like to trim my beard about every three months for anybody who's wondering how long to trim it. About every three months is a good, good little area right there. Every three months or so, do a small little trim, little maintenance trim, get rid of these little hairs, and uh, that's about all you need. So, as you can see here, I'm pretty nice and straight. I might have a couple hairs hanging out. I'm sure if somebody sees it, they'll say something, but my beard ain't all the way down and brushed everywhere, so. That's, you can see right there on my chest, that's all I took off. It's not very much, it's just enough to straighten this up. Like I said, it was a little bit longer over here before. It may still look a little bit longer in places, but that's, uh, I have to style it, guys. I have to style it. So, anytime you do a trim, you will notice at some point in time that you have another hair sticking out that's a little bit longer than the rest of them. So it makes you want to come up and do this. Nib it off like that. But if you can, try to stop yourself from doing that too much because you will end up with a short-ass beard that you wish you didn't trim so much. So that's right there is about all we're taking off. I'm going to let this down. I don't think I need to trim any off of this because this is my main area that was uneven. Uh, I might trim a little bit here, but it's not going to be much at all. I'm going to let it down, kind of comb through it, see what it looks like, and uh, pretty much just go from there. But... This is my main trouble area here is where I get my knots and my split ends. And like I said, because these hairs, they like to go forward. They're blow dry down or not. They like to go forward and stick into these. And they just like to cause a lot of problems. So I like to get these nice and straight and smooth. That way my comb glides straight through there. And I'm not yanking out a bunch of beard hairs, all right? So let's let this down and see where we're at. Well, look how goofy that looks. <laughs> all right, let me comb through this and see what happens. Tell you what guys, the amount of help a trim, a small trim can do, whether it's uneven, knots, anything like that, the amount of help a small trim can do to your beard is pretty much magnificent, man. My beard, just that little bit, I didn't feel hardly any snagging, if any at all, so that's why I like to trim my beard, and then, like I said, I don't know if I need to trim here, I'm going to look back in this mirror, see what I can come up with. I'm more happy with just trimming under here, because you can't, with this down, you can't really see all these. And now I'm not, I'm not having all the snagging because I went under there and trimmed them. But let me look in here, see what I got going on. I might do just a little bit just to shape it up, but it ain't going to be much. And by the way, guys, y'all know, I know y'all see this comb. I ain't showing it to everybody. I still ain't cleaned it yet. I'll make a video on it. So I'm trying to hide that on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the smaller teeth over here. Try to get my beard just a little bit straight out. So this is not a how to uh, style your beard video. This is just me showing you guys how I would go about doing a maintenance trim, right? So I got just a couple small hairs down here that I'm gonna trim after laying this front down. It ain't gonna be much. Just gonna do just a couple little bitty ones. I don't wanna trim much off. I know people are cringing right now, man. Just take it easy, man. Take it easy. I'm literally just touching up just a little bit of these flyaways. Y'all can watch me make my weird facial gestures. That might be my thumbnail. So, that's it right there. Just that little bitty bit. I know you guys can see it on my shirt. Like I said, it's just a little bit. It's a nice, smooth cut. It feels good. It feels smoother. I don't feel a lot of knots just barely rubbing it like that. But that's it, guys. That's my way how I straighten up an uneven beard and get rid of some of those knots. Just a nice, small maintenance trim. I know this video has been long. Hopefully, it helps somebody. But just wanted to bring that to you guys. It's been a while since I made a video. Sorry about that. I'm dealing with some own 
personal issues guys if you made it this far in the video i really appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next one